Hello internet friends, I'm Ryan and this is Demos in the Dark. We have a new vintage inspired fuzz from Benson Amps. This here is the stock box. First thing I'm gonna do is run it down on a mix on multiple guitar tracks as well as bass. Come on back here and we will run through the stock box all by its lonesome. <laughs> deeper dive into the stock box from Benson Amps. So let's start with the control. So up top we have a tone control. This is a low pass filter, but it acts a lot like a tilt EQ the way he set it up. We have a volume control here that does what it's supposed to do. Then we have a trim control here. It's kind of a long answer as to what it does, but just think of it as a gain. The higher the trim, the more gain. Filter works with both gain and bias. So if you turn it down, there's going to be less gain, but the bias is also going to be different. So it's very interactive with the trim control. And then up top, we have a friendly reminder that this is a bias controlled fuzz. It takes a couple of seconds to heat up and then this light will change colors as it's working. Tonight, I will be using a Saif Guitars OH-19 into a Benson Amps Monarch Reverb. Sounds like this. kind of gated, it's got a little Velcro to it. I really like this one for rhythm guitar tracks. kind of gets into treble booster territory. <laughs> like me, you 
like using fuzz pedals for overdrive, you can set that up right here very nice and easily. Here we go. <laughs> This is the setting that I messed with the most and the one I like the most on this pedal. And it's, you, you crank the trim all the way, you crank the gain all the way. And then with the filter, I'm gonna go between these two settings here. And this will be very, very nice and very well-rounded and great. But once you kick it up over into here, it almost feels like it has that martial presence to it. So uh, let's check it out. <laughs> just a brief look at the stonk box from Benson Amps. It's a great sounding pedal. I've always been a big fan of the internal biasing. I think that's great. One less thing that you have to think about and you get consistency in your sound. Um, it's by Benson, so it's incredibly well made and I have absolutely no qualms about this pedal whatsoever. So thanks Chris for sending this over for me to check out and thank you for your time.